Hello you outraged League of Legends players in expensive hotel rooms, Jim Sterling here and this is Oncoming Death. It's a survival shooter in a world of zombies and can you believe it's on Steam Early Access? I sure can't. Right, let's get on with it, sarcasm aside. Circle of Death, unknown system. Uh, collect the fuel and activate the generator for weapons and ammo. Search parts and activate the radar to see the mines. Okay. Sounds good to me. We gotta do what again? I've forgotten. We said something about fuel and mines. You've gotta you've gotta pour fuel into the mines to see the generator. That's what it said. Only joking. Turn the sensitivity down a little bit there. Maybe another touch as well. That might be a bit too low. We'll roll with it and see what happens. So it looks more like World War One at the moment. But the let me just listen to the music there. I got lyrics. Hell yeah! We got some cut rate nickelback going on. Is this a fuel thing? No. Let me just press F sometimes that interacts. No. Oh, hello. Oh, where did you come from? So, two shots to down a zombie, even with a headshot, it seems. I'm shooting zombies! In the hills. Sometimes I miss. Cause I'm not a good aimer. We got a uh, plenty of ammo though. So let's see. I'm gonna ignore the zombies for the moment. And just see what else we got going on. We'll get this one out of our way. That one, fuck off and all. You too, while we're at it. And you. Bloody hell. Where are these fucking shitheads coming from? There we go. That's something. Now what do we do with this? Okay. So we found a red fuel can. I want to just have a look over here. We'll see if it goes in here first, since it's nearest. Okay, that, that got something running. <coughs> God, there's no, okay. What the hell? Maybe that's points. If we score enough points, we can get guns from that barrel. How many points for that? 500, did it say? 500. We can rack up 500. There's enough fucking zombies for it. I'm going to whack that sensitivity up just a touch. Okay. God, ah, back against the wall again. Right. Almost halfway to 500, then we can get a new gun. Ooh, we can get a new gun right now with 100. Do we want to save up or cash in? The age-old question. Um, we'll save up. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. As Bovine Jovi once said. Come on. You line them up, I'll knock them down. We're making good progress. We are almost out of ammo. I don't know what happens when... Well, when that happens. But we are almost at our 500. Or one more should do it. Right, fuck you. Fuck you lot. What the hell was that? Why did I get blown up? Okay, then where's the 500 one? That's a thousand. There it is, over here. Music, of course, still uh, really rocking and rolling. Right. Aha! No. No. I, I spent it. I guess, do I get it over here? No? Where's my gun? Maybe this is it, maybe this is a locker. Maybe this is where my gun's lit, no? Well, holy shit. I've got seven shots left. Oh, it's on here. Oh no, no, it's just ammo. It's just ammo. Oh God, I've been royally fucked. 
even though it was just ammo? I need the gun! I don't want to go to a, using a fucking knife. It's 3,000 to get that working. Ugh. Maybe there's something down this uh, alcove, though. Maybe this will help, but no. no. It's an invisible wall. Okay. Oh well. Let's, uh... Let's just finish off what's here. Alright, knife time. Oh, this is much easier. I should have been doing that from the start. Now, the uh, the crates changed at the top. It said one, that says two. So I guess that's your waves. Kind of enjoy that. I kind of... I like that touch of uh, HUD information being part of the map. The rest of it just reminds me of, like, Call of Duty Zombies, really. And these ones are tougher, it seems. This is, a uh, Two slices. Oh! Oh, I missed some physics flipping out. I love it when that happens. Well, I'm gonna find that crate that said 100, because I'm assuming that's pistol ammo. Unless I dreamed that. I'm fairly certain I saw one that said 100. Oh shit, I can't see it now. So this, this must be actually buying guns. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep slicing these guys for a bit and then we'll cut to a catch-up and then, then we'll see how far I've gotten. I kind of got myself in trouble. That didn't go over very well at all. We'll try again. So I'll, I'll get back to you when I've got another weapon. Still working on it. Took a lot of damage because there are mines around that I just keep falling onto. But, uh... So we're on wave one of a new spawn. This should be the last one. Yeah, wave two. Wave 2 basically just gives us, uh, well, we've got 600 points out of all of the zombies in Wave 1. Not enough to get a gun, but I did use the knife the whole time. So, switch to the pistol and we've still got full ammo. Should be enough to get us to 1,000, if we're lucky. These take three shots, but you get 20 points a kill. Fuck, that's some bad damage there. You can tell I've been watching too much Northern Lion. That, that frame rate is atrocious. That went down to 14 frames. I said, you tell I've been watching too much Northern Lion because I'm referring to everything as bad damage. Come on. Basically, the time I spend not playing Binding of Isaac, he's recently just spent watching Northern Lion play Binding of Isaac. You know, when I'm not working. Which takes up most of the day. Happy to do it, though. Happy to do it. That reminds me. I was uh, looking at the Payday 2 forums today on Steam. Uh, just to see if people had linked the Jimquisition there. They had, to the point where mods are getting very annoyed by it. I think there's been like eight threads about it. No need to spam the forums that much, guys. Um, but I did see one comment that said, Who is Jim Sterling? Apart from a Patreon scam and a slightly irrelevant Australian. <laughs> I will admit that is one of the best insulting comments I have ever had about me. It may be my fav the favourite thing I've ever read about myself. At least when it comes to the, the denigrating stuff. A slightly irrelevant Australian. I want to know the Patreon scam bit. Obviously it's a scam because it's crowdfunding and all crowdfunding is a scam if you're brain dead and have no critical thought. Basically if you're the internet commenter version of one of these limping dead fuckwits here. Oh! Get out of my way. I got stuck on that zombie. Shit. Man. So we've got a thousand points. But we've got 94 health and still quite a bit of ammo so I'm feeling... A little risky. <laughs> Fucking hell, these zombies can't just come from everywhere. <laughs> Do 
They're all identical as well. I'm assuming the creator of this game was feeling a little cheap when they were shopping for asset packs. Just found one generic zombie model. That'll do. Plonk it in a World War One themed environment with a few dumpsters to make it look slightly modern. I'm imagining that was the thought process. Well, that's us out of ammo. It looks like we got a plug for the thousand. Yeah, give me that gun. All right, now we're cooking with gas. Lowering them down, feeling good. Oh god, stuck on a bit of metal. Oh. I don't know what that noise was. It's an Australian thing. Us Aussies tend to make noises like that. I am just going to roll with this idea that I'm Australian. Is this ammo for this gun? Must be. There we are. Nice to get some ammo going. So 300 points, wave 3. We're going to get any variety in the zombie models? Who knows? So I think the overall aim, of course, is to get 3,000 points accumulated so that we can activate that thing there. I'm going to be honest with you now. I don't foresee us getting that far. I think I'm going to get far too bored before that time. Where the hell even are the zombies? i got points to accumulate, friends. Hello? I mean, you know, this uh, inoffensive rock music that the kids listen to these days is, is very entertaining in my headphones, but I could do with some zombies. Huh? Did, did the game think this far ahead? Was it expecting to not to not have anyone get to wave three? Zombies! Hello? I'm, I'm going I'm looking through the spawn points. I don't see anything. Um Huh Fucking stamina meter. The jump button. When I'm bored in a first person shooter, my instinct is to just like hammer the jump button. I'm sure many of you were the same. It's like, well, let's just jump about a bit. Or if it's a third person action game, you'll just start rolling around. Oh, hang on, we've skipped straight to wave four. Alright, uh, any zombies in wave four? Okay, well, that was just an explosion. Aha! Zombies! Still the same zombie model. Ads infinitum. Maybe maybe wave three was a rest period. Still don't know what this is. Ah oh, well. So yeah, I mean, I think we all get the picture. I mean, it's five bucks on Steam, but five bucks can get you better. Five bucks is more than enough to get down well, which is another game I played uh, on this channel. I played it yesterday. If you want to look up the squirty play of down well, I highly recommend you do, because down well is bloody fantastic. It's more dynamic and interesting than this, and it has more than one enemy. Could spend the rest of the video just talking about Downwell. By the way, a, a, an update on Jim Flips the Bird. Now, I know some of you will have watched my Gabe Newell simulate, what the hell? Well, I watched my Gabe Newell simulator video where I talked about someone setting up a Tumblr blog. Some two-bit bitter developer um, set up a, a blog that tried to accuse me of asset flipping myself. Uh, because one of my artists for the Gym Position t-shirt store 
have made a parody of the Twitter bird logo for the Fuck Konami t-shirt. Yeah. There is now a 99% chance that that developer was indeed Digital Homicide and was again using another studio's name. I got an email from the real Xenobite Studios who were like, dude, that's not us. We're, we're just a bunch of Scottish game development students. Um, the fake Xenobite Studios then affected bad Russian, English kind of stuff on their Twitter account to try and make it look like, like like cartoon levels of badly translated Russian to English to the point where it was obvious it was someone bullshitting and it's just been very aggressive on Twitter more and more as they got found out and then they tried to prove they were uh, they're really an original Xenobite Studios thing by showing a game of theirs that they submitted to Greenlight uh, which turned out to be from Victory Games. Victory Games being one of the sock puppet companies that Digital Homicide has been trading under. Aha. Uh -huh. As I'm sure you can tell, they basically exposed themselves. And they've not been taking that very well either. They've been flipping out even more since then. So yeah. Um, for a company that's been threatening to hit me with a defamation lawsuit, uh, well, there's enough evidence of attempted defamation on their part to basically have the whole thing thrown out. I mean, they've nuked their legal case completely. And that's fun. We're on way five, and this is just really boring the piss out of me now, so I'm going to stop. Um, that's oncoming death or whatever it was. Oncoming yawns. I mean, look, it's just the same zombie. Look, look at him, just, just wibbling, wobbling around. Yeah. See you later.